All right, hello and welcome to the third part of my Hotline Miami clone in Unity tutorial. All right, today we are going to be covering animation, so I'll just show you basically what it is. So, see, he walks, he animates, and so since we've not got, there's just the player animating at the moment, I've also added in a sort of generic animation script, which basically is used for animating environmental stuff, really. So yeah, uh, you can turn it on and off and stuff. Uh, on automatic, whatever. That junk effect is a bit too much actually, I'll probably lower it, but oh well. Okay, so first I'm just gonna go over, uh, just to get it out of the way, the leg direction thing. So basically in Hotline Miami, where you can, uh, the legs will follow the direction you're going, but the torso will rotate to the cursor. So this basically is just added to, uh, Basically, we created a child object of the player and assigned the leg sprite. And basically, this controls the rotation of the leg sprites. So it'll rotate. And it's a bit funny with how it works because it's not how you'd expect it to be. It's sort of inverted. So, because I think it's because the actual sprite sheet legs, yep. The actual sprite legs. Uh, are rotated 90 degrees so that has offset the thing uh, the actual rotation you need to set it to make it look normal so yeah that it'll be like 0 180 uh, 270 and 90 if your sprites face upward but since mine face to the right it's like that basically all right now onto the player animation all right so we got play three sprite arrays, which we got the walking, we got the attacking, which isn't used yet, and the legs. All right, and we've got two counters: one for the torso, one for the legs. Uh, we got player movement, so we can just check if players is moving, so we know when to animate. Uh, and the timers, basically, just count down and change the sprite, and then get the sprite public sprite render. The sprite renderers for the torso and legs are public, so we can just assign them in the player and we don't have to worry about them here. And we also have a sprite container, which is added to the game controller here, and basically has public sprite arrays, so you can just assign the sprites here and then like add it to the scene, and then the enemy, the player and enemies and whatnot will know where to get the sprites from. Basically, that's just public sprite arrays with the sprites you need and methods to return them. So this returns legs and the unarmed walk at the moment. And as you can see in the not movement constructor, or well not constructor, the start function, it's got the, it sets the walking to get unarmed walk and play uh, legs, uh, legs to get player legs. And in the future, I'm going to add a uh, method for changing them because I'll need to when I add in weapon makeups and whatnot. And yeah. Alright, so onto the main thing. Basically the animation's pretty simple. Once uh, if the player is moving, then it'll like count down the timer and if the timer's less than or equal to zero, it will uh, basically add one to the counter if the counter hasn't reached the end of the sprite array length minus one because once it reaches walking dot length it will have to cycle round to zero because uh basically the length is, uh is like will always uh all right basically arrays start at zero and will go to the value of length minus one but the length starts at one so it'll always be one more than the index of the last entry of the array. So you've got to put less than minus one, length dot minus one. And then, so if it is length dot, if it is walk, if the counter is equal to walking dot length, it will just cycle round to zero. And that's pretty much the same for the leg sprites, except the leg sprites are a bit longer. And the animate torso, it has a 0 0.1 instead to account for that. So it sort of looks like they're going the same speed. And that's a train, you can probably hear that, sorry. Two trains actually. Mm. Uh, okay, so that is pretty much the player move. Uh, I think it, yeah, and basically the sprite controller has just been put in a game controller game object, which is just a handy little thing for putting level things in. 
that's that basically. That's tag game controllers so that can be found. And next we will go on to the generic animate, which I just have sort of like as a tool just to animate like environment sprites or whatnot. Just it's kind of for anything you don't really need direct control over, but you need it to animate. So basically, it's got. A sprite array was public, you just set the sprites that you want to animate. And then it's got a couple of bools which provide options for how it animates. So it's got looping, uh, destroy on finish, which will just delete the game object. Uh, if it's near the player, if it needs the player to be near to activate, then it'll do that. And if it needs activating, like say you need the player to turn it on, then it has there. And that's to do with that. So activated is basically controlled by needs activating. It's got a sprite renderer, which it just grabs in the start method. Timer for animation. It's got the float for distance from the player. If Basically, if that's how far the player will need to be near to it uh, on while near. And the timer reset is like basically controls how fast the animation goes. So it'll count down and then the timer will be reset to this value. So the higher the value, the slower the animation will go. So and then there's the counter from the player just in there. All right. So if if while near is true, it'll just animate while near, which is basically just if the distance is less than between this object and the player object is less than the distance set here, then it'll just literally just cycle through. And then once it reaches the end, if like to the if counter is equal to sprites dot length minus one, then if looping is true, which boolean here, it will just reset the counter to zero and it'll animate again. Also, if just if the destroy is on through is true, it'll just destroy it pretty much, and then it sets the timer reset if it's not been destroyed. Uh, then normal animate is the same, but it just doesn't have the checking distance condition here. Pretty much, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, and then on activating, so basically, if activated is false and it needs to be activated, if the player presses a key, I've just used E for example, and it's close enough, so you can just uh, change this to whatever value you want, depending on how near it has to be. And activated is true, that sets, act that sets activated to true. And then if needs activating is true and activating is true, then it'll animate, but it also gives you the option if you press E again or whatever key you've assigned it and you're in range, then it'll set activated to false and stop the animation. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I've made any changes. So I'm just going to quickly fly over these scripts if you need to copy anything down. So the top bit and bottom bit of the generic animate. Right, uh, player animate. Ooh. And there's the sprite container and the legs direction. All right, I'm just gonna quickly show you again the animate, generic animate in work. So Basically, this is just a looping one. Uh, I've got colliders on this now, which I've just added to make it easier. Uh, yeah, and you can see it sort of sticks, but whatever. Uh, this is pressing E, and then it stops, start, stop, start, whatever. And then C animates while I'm near it, stops, starts, stops, starts, etc. Uh, these uh, arcade machine sprites were basically by, it was a Hotline Miami mod, which went belly up and they said you could use sprites for stuff so I just decided to use them so shout out to those guys on the Hotline Miami subreddit Redial I think it was the mod before it sort of died because someone was a dick but oh well and yeah so thanks for watching go play my game Loud or Quiet it's kind of like Hotline Miami payday and whatnot and just sort of like an amalgamation of things I liked because why not make something you like Make the game you want to see. Uh, yeah, the link will be in the description. Like, comment, subscribe, etc., etc. And I'll see you next time for weapon pickups.